what is happening, Magnesites? So, following in the tradition of Gotham, we have a series called Krypton now coming out. And let me read you this short article in Entertainment Weekly about what it says. It says the world of Superman is headed back to TV. A Superman prequel series called Krypton from the Man of Steel writer David S. Goyer has land, landed in development at Sci-Fi. Here's the pitch. Years before the Superman legend we know, the House of L was shamed and ostracized. This series follows the Man of Steel's grandfather as he brings hope and equality to Krypton, turning a planet in disarray into one worthy of giving birth to the greatest superhero ever known. Goyer was previously rumored to be working on such a project, but without a network or any details publicly attached to Goyer uh, and Ian Goldberg, Will executive produce the project with Goldberg writing a pilot script based on a story by both men? In addition to Man of Steel, Goyer cre uh, credits include okay, uh, let's see, uh, the project comes on the heels of Fox, Fox's Batman prequel series Gotham, breaking out as one of Fall's top rated TV shows. You guys can go read the rest if you want. I will post the link in the description box, but. As we know, I am here to give my opinion. Um, I watch Gotham. I don't watch it religiously. I watch it on Hulu. I think I've worse watched like maybe the first three or four episodes. It's okay to me. And my whole thing is, you know, I guess as a, uh, being fanboyish, I want to see Batman. Yeah, it's called Gotham, but I want to see Batman. I realize that being called Gotham, and it's about Jim Gordon, and it looks like the, his evolution as a police officer and the commissioner, and the development of um, the villains uh, into who they are, and probably eventually we may see Batman. He's a boy now, so you know, but we'll see things that create him. That's not as exciting or interesting to me as if. It was a Batman series that was like Batman Year One, like where you see him change. And I know Batman Begins was, you know, kind of like, but I'm talking about a series where, you know, it's not just a two and a half hour movie. No, I mean, you know, hour and hour, episode, hour episode, you know, week after week after week after week after week, where we really get to get into detail and see how Batman became who he is. That would be way more interesting to me. So, now, talking about Krypton, I feel the same fucking way. If it ain't a built man with a red cape flying around saving people, heat coming out of his eyes, cold coming out of his mouth, I, I don't really care. You know what I'm saying? But there are people, I understand out there, that are interested in the backstory of Krypton and the people and all that shit, it means not much to me at all. I went to see Man of Steel so that I could see red cape flapping and people being saved. Some strengths and feats of strength. That's what I came to see. I hey, the the beginning actually with Jor El and Zod and all that, that was actually pretty good. But would I have wanted to see the whole movie like that? No. So it you know, I'm I'm kind of either way about it, you know, hey, I'll give anything a shot, just like with Gotham. I knew beforehand that Batman wouldn't be in it, but I said, you know, let's let's check it out, and it's actually pretty good. And, you know, I'm not coming down on it, but I know what I would prefer. I know what interests me more, just like with Krypton. I don't want to hear about your fucking grandpa, but the way they put it all together, it could be a very good story and series, okay? Post your comments below. Let me know what you think about Krypton coming out, all right? And if you want to, uh, ah, never mind. Well, eh, never mind. I'll do it in some other video. <laughs> One million subscribers. Woo!